Good morning and evening, ladies and gentlemen of Anime Revolution. My name is Digital CJ, and I welcome you to my little show called Digitalk. Digitalk is where we could take an anime or show and critique where the pros and cons are a review in a nutshell. Today we're going to be looking at a brand new anime that came out in January this year, and it is named X-Arm. Oh, this is gonna blow expectations. X-Arm is a 3D CGI sci-fi anime set in the future where a young boy named Akira who died from an unfortunate accident then became a super weapon called X-Arm. He will be used to fight evil bad guys. Look, I am not going to pretend that I don't know all this stuff, but this is an anime licensed and made by Crunchyroll, which they stream anime 24-7 for years. Years. And who funded an anime director who has no experience in anime whatsoever. Along with a budget that's equivalent to an apartment rent. Remember what I said about blowing expectations? There's already a lot of plot reviews going around the internet on how bad it is and there's nothing for me to contribute on what that has already been said. However, I'm going to try and view this as a Anime Revolutions video editor standpoint as much as possible. To see in that perspective if there's anything good. Without further ado, let's do this. Okay, we are like 15 20 seconds in, and already. What is this lens flare? Is that a bug? Is that a glitch? Or is that purposely put there? It shouldn't be there. At all. I understand that you wanted to convey this entire scene looking like the apocalypse and all you just did is put the entire thing in Photoshop and put transparent layers in there, but... That lightning? That's not lightning, mate. That's an overlay. <laughs> what you want with your lightning is at the background. Behind your character. This is better! Much better! Did you just... copy and pasted the same lightning in each of those baubles? But in different clips? Oh. Oh no. <clears throat> we have spotted three major mistakes. Three major mistakes in the intro. And we have finally made it to the OP. Oh, this is already bad. This is already bad, and we just started. Oh, gosh. At least they removed the mysterious lens flare this time. you make it zoom like that you could have just panned the camera from right to left or if you want to keep the zoom just slowly zoom up to the window midway until you transition into the next scene in this case of what we have here is that you zoom so hard and all you have is a bad pixel window that came from a JPEG image 
This is not how you camera. <sighs> Natsume! Don't you just love how you got two nobodies confronting our guy in 20 frames and the MC just went 60? Poor bastards. And not only that. That guy's outline though. <laughs> <laughs> this may not be an editorial mistake per se, but I know for a fact that someone in our group would see this scene and go something like, Is something wrong? Okay, now that is an editorial mistake right there. That distortion is really unneeded. Especially being used as a transition. If they wanted to, they could have made the kid turn white and then straight up cut into the next scene. That distortion makes the whole thing look jarring. So did Alright, sure, let's make the entire show even more jarring for you to have a 2D and a 3D character in the same room. It's either you have to pick one or the other, mate. Holy crap. This series is having an existential crisis, and we're only on episode one. One! On a side note of that, our MC passed out in class because he is allergic to... Technology? If there's a scientific or medical term that can back that up, I would gladly eat my words. Akira, Please change. Please do change. For you are having an existential crisis right now. And I would love for this to turn into a coming of age arc where our MC turns back into 2D. I'm not going to comment on the outside scene of the truck because I already know the background is bad, but this scene right here, you have our stalker in 2D and our MC in a picture. Even now, he's still in 3D. What's up with this? So <laughs> Is this it? Will this be the day that our MC is having a coming of age arc where he finally reverts back to 2D? <laughs> Well, all I could say for this scene is Truck Dude Strikes Again! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Explosions are bad and you should feel bad. What the deuce? My girl, that's a revolver. Revolvers don't go burr, hun. Unless you have a very strong trigger finger to do it. But even then, they only hold up to six shots. Six shots, not 30. <laughs> he blocked. <laughs> he blocked those revolver shots with an M4. He blocked those revolver shots with an M4. <laughs> In reality, that gun should be shot off from his hands and be broken. At least give him some pushback. But not only that, she misses with all that gunfire. This anime is crap. I get it. I get that you're trying to go for the Monty Oom style and implement it into these action scenes. However, the difference here is how Monty Oom directs his character's fight animations. For they all go over the top, smooth, and along with some blood. This is just a mere shadow of Monty's work. For you just keep referencing other action movies like The Matrix, John Wick, and a bit of Ghost in the Shell. It seems it has no identity. <laughs> now wait just a minute, back that up please. Do you see a scope equipped on that rifle? I don't see it. Did you? <laughs> Oh, you think? With all these thugs shooting at her all at once and a couple of MG guys can't even get a single hit until now? Along with the fact the Matrix move she does during a gunfight? It finally occurs to someone that a human can't even do all this on the fly. So yeah. She's not human. <laughs> Worst fight scene ever. Pause. Quick note. That's not how you shadow. This must hurt so bad when your animator doesn't know how to do expressions.
When a character hates or is allergic to technology to the point where that said character dies and becomes one, that's a huge bitter irony and having to become one is really hell. Now that I think about it, to him this is what hell feels like. Dem lip flaps dough. Dem lip flaps dough. Just no. 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 Damn it. Is this just fantasy? Caught in a landslide, no escape from technology. Two things. Two things we've got from this. We finally get to meet bootleg Ghost in the Shell Bato and Togusa in this scene. And two, this is not how lighting works. The lights in the hall shoot illuminate downwards, not everywhere. That's downright lazy. It's hard to believe that this bootleg major Katsuragi from Evangelion is having a staring contest with everyone in the meeting and not happen to blink once. But then again, that can be said for every single 3D character that's been shown on this episode thus far. At this point of this episode's development cycle, they just completely went and say, screw it. Screw it. Just screw it all. All the way to oblivion. Oh, and one more thing. Ow! あんたらこそ何者なんだ。はあ?ミリアわかるでしょ?警察よ、警察。警察。警察。見つけた。That wall clipping though. By the way, isn't that Kyuuchan's voice actor? Why? Why are you even here? Is this what happens after Yakuza 6? You either die as a hero or lived long enough to see yourself being in one of the worst animes in 2021. Scratch that. The worst anime ever to exist and become a cardinal sin to mankind. XM numbering 8. Suruhandoda. I'm just, I'm just gonna, uh, I, I, I'm just gonna, uh, ho, ho, hold on a sec, hold on just one second ladies and gentlemen. What the heck is this? Are the floors on this ship are made of mini trampolines? Come on! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, what we are witnessing now is that our forgettable character attempts to T-pose and assure dominance over evil Kiryu-chan in stopping his tracks. In the end, her dominance power level is clearly 1009. I have seen a whole lot of sci-fi animes which androids use some kind of USB cord to jack into a computer of some sorts. 
But what we have here for a quote unquote USB is an amp aux cord. An amp aux cord. The thing that which people use for keys and guitars. Keys and guitars. And headphone users. If this keeps up, my head would start to bleed. <laughs> How can you fail to make a simple angry expression? For goodness sake, man! <laughs> And that, my friends, is what we can all call a sexual assault. <laughs> Where on earth on this ship did that vent even come from? Where's the fence on that freaking thing? Also, that's supposed to be an expression? <laughs> this shot. This shot alone. You can't uncannily deny that this facial shot is where they got a certain reference from. Oh, for goodness sake, man. The guy is in cyberspace. There is no need to freaking censor on his bottom half body. At least give him a white unitard or keep his body and don't draw his pee pee and balls. But I guess that's just too much work for you, isn't it? <laughs> what is up all this smoke? Is the ship suddenly on fire? Of course, what happened to the music? Did they just up and forgot and leave it as is? <sighs> Let me help you fix this. You know what? For a bad fight scene such as this, I could just go along with... Just know that this will be the only time I give help. I don't believe that's how a neck should bend. But then again, she's an android. What should I know? Whoa, 
whoa, whoa, whoa, whoa, whoa. Back up, back up. X arm, X arm, X arm. Now wait just a freaking minute here. Just how even? How even? Ah, yeah, what did I already? Eh? Yes, correct. She, she still. She was still carrying her on her arms. And now she's on a wall? What is even happening? <laughs> I... I... I got nothing. I absolutely got nothing. Nada. Nothing at all. From the bed to the fight scene and running down the hallway, then instant wall jump. This whole entire thing right here. I got nothing. Nada. But except for these. Why am I still here? Just to suffer. Every moment I can feel my head, my eyes, even my brain cells. They won't stop hurting. あの悲劇から10年。お前は全人類を敵だ。Now we are reverting back to the first scene where our MC has went full blown edgy in the future. And they haven't gotten the lightning behind the character. Shame. Okay, so let me get this straight. As if this entire pilot has ever been straight with me since the beginning. So right when the commander guy calls our MC to be the quote-unquote enemy of all mankind, it triggered something in his X-Arm system to see into the future on what he might become. Pretty much he can be an oracle while being a techie into hacking things. Even though he is allergic to technology. Okay, fine. But that doesn't even excuse him on why he still kept the same darn expression ever since the beginning of this darn episode! <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, that was the first episode of x -Arm. Although, after everything that has happened to the first episode for butchering the original source material, you would think that they should stop right there and drop productions of the entire series on the spot. 
in reality, you would be right. You would be right for all the editorials, transitions, overlays, smokes, horrible 2D and 3D models and having them existing in the same plane, ugly SN fight choreographies, and finally, you would be right for script writing. Yes, you would be right for all of it. But unfortunately, the key word here is would. Actually, at the very most, the key word has to be should. For you should be right about Crunchyroll to drop everything for such an epic failure to be called anime. Yet they will still continue until they finish making it up until episode 12. 12! 12 episodes, ladies and gentlemen. Crunchyroll has the goal to declare war on every sci-fi movies and series to ever existed. Star Wars, Star Trek, Blade Runner, Robocop. Alien, Predator, Ghost in the Shell, Voltron, Battle Angel Alita, Cowboy Bebop, Outlaw Star. Have you lost your mind? You sure you want to ride this train, friend? Everything on this garbage, every single scene, all of it is bad. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. This is not something that it is so bad that it's good. No, this is not something that is so bad that you would pop a cola with your buds and have a grand old time. Oh, no, 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 no. This is something that is so bad that it is an assault. Assault on your eyes. Assault on your ears, assault on your IQ. Don't watch this garbage.